So about a year ago today, I rented a mini excavator and uh, started tearing out the trees that were on my property and decided I was going to chase my dream and build an off the grid cabin with my family's help. Um, as you watch this series, you can tell we've done everything from clearing the land to um, having the cabin brought in. And then later on, we started doing the interior. I have the solar power already done. I have it wired for a generator. Um, the insulation and everything is in. Tongue and groove walls are in. So we got a lot accomplished this year on the cabin. And let's talk about what we're gonna do for next year. Hey guys, welcome to my editing studio. This is where I spend most of my time putting all the clips together on my video. Um, so I thought it'd be the, probably the most appropriate place in my home to talk about this next year on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of things that I like to do, uh, but most importantly, I would like to hear comments from you and suggestions from you as viewers. Uh, Carl's Off The Grid isn't just about me and my cabin. Rather, I'd like this YouTube channel to be more about uh, a community where we can help each other learn and grow. I get quite a few people that leave me good suggestions in the comments and a lot of people that even go as far as um, looking for my email in my um, channel description. I do have an email there. Um, I'll see if I can write it down on the bottom of the screen here. And, uh, and if you could get hold of me and give me some suggestions of things that you'd like to see. I'll try to incorporate those things into the videos. Otherwise, I do have a list of things that I want to do for the year. Um, this next year in Carl's Off the Grid, it's going to start off a little bit uh, with a challenge. Uh, right now, I have a problem with how far the road is that goes back into the cabin. Uh, it's a pretty lengthy road, and the county does not plow it. It's privately owned. And so there may be a period of time this winter where I'm not going to be able to get videos out every week. Um, but I will try to come up with some videos just to stay in contact with you. Uh, I'll probably make a few trips up there and see if I can snowshoe or snowmobile back into the cabin. So we'll see what this, uh, what it all, uh, the winter brings. But uh, don't have any uh, questions on how this is going to pan out because for sure as the spring uh, breaks next year I'm going to have a whole bunch of videos coming out again. There's things that I like to do from I want to build a bathhouse and that bathhouse is going to have running water in it. I'm going to drive my own sandpoint well. Um, I'd like to possibly put in a septic system and uh, I want to have flushing toilets. Uh, I want to stay away from the outhouse thing. Uh, I've had outhouses in the past and I don't care for the flies. I don't care for the smell. So we're going to try to class it up a little bit. Um, I like to show you how to waterproof wood without, uh, you know, using too much money for doing it. I'd like to put up a meat pole. You can tell by the deer behind me. I'm an avid hunter, an avid sportsman. Well, most of the meat that we have in our home is all meat that I've harvested. So I'll show you how to waterproof wood uh, without having to spend a ton of money on it and without going to the store and buying weather treated wood. So there's a lot of things that I have uh, in my mind as to what I want to do. Um, unfortunately this year uh, my landscaper stiffed me. You can see all the trees that are laying down around the cabin. I want to do a clean up on that. I'm going to rent a mini excavator and uh, my driveway looks ridiculous where the Earth is just rubbed away. I don't like that look. Uh, I'll probably use those logs to make a, re a tension wall there. And that retention wall, uh, I'd like to maybe fill in with some soil and get some vegetation growing there. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so that's where we're headed as a channel. Um, I'd like to share uh, with you a special guest that came and visited me this week. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about both his life and my life, and I'll start out with my life. Uh, the reason I started Carl's Off the Grid, you know, building a cabin on a budget, is because seven years ago my wife suffered a traumatic um, uh, health episode. She had a massive brain tumor and what we thought was a brain aneurysm. Uh, when we went to the hospitals, uh, the hospital, um, the first hospital, 
they told us that she probably didn't have more than a couple hours and uh, she's a fighter. She didn't want to hear that. And long story short, uh, she survived all the surgeries. She's still with us today. Financially, it uh, took a number on our, our family finances. And so that's where they built the cabin on a budget came from. And uh, Arkansas Woodcutter, I'm kind of drawn to him, not just because um, uh, he's got a great YouTube channel, but I think his life has brought him some of the same circumstances where um, he's had some some really heavy financial blows uh, come his way. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. I think, I think it's appropriate that I share a little bit, uh, but... Uh, it's going to be up to Mark to share it. If you go on to his YouTube channel, Arkansas Woodcutter, uh, he talks with his viewers quite often about what his life has brought him. And he has made a huge change in his life and decided to do RV transport. If any of you people out there have Dodge pickup trucks, specifically a, a new diesel Dodge pickup truck, um, he spent his, uh, you know, I don't know if it's his life savings, but a good portion of his family's budget on picking up a new truck. And long story short, the truck has been nothing but nightmares with him. He's had problems with the fuel system. And he's talked about, uh, you know, what with Dodge on a regular basis, what they could do to get him in a new vehicle. They're not cooperating with him. He's been without a vehicle for quite some time. And it's really put a financial burden on his family. If you have a Dodge that has problems, um, email him in his uh, uh, channel description. He has his uh, email address. Or if you don't know how to look up you know, his email address in his channel description, you can just comment on one of his videos that you um, have got a Dodge that has similar problems. And then... You know, maybe you guys can all band together and get a class action lawsuit or maybe get Chrysler to work for you. Um, or if you also know of a good Lemon Law attorney or somebody who could represent him to help get Dodge to move a little bit faster, that would be great. So uh, I'm going to introduce you. I'm going to have us a couple uh, small clips here with um, Arkansas Woodcutter. Uh, he's just a fantastic guy. Yeah, he is like an encyclopedia of knowledge when it comes to being self-reliant. Uh, he's a great farmer. Uh, he knows how to uh, grow food, and he knows a ton about different um, wild uh, plants and things of that nature. So he's a great person if you're into self-reliance to get to know. And so I, without any further ado, I, I'm going to put a clip in here with Mark's face so you know who he is, you know what he looks like. I'd strongly encourage you to go check out his hey folks, channel. welcome back to Carl's Off the Grid. Right now I'm walking through Whitnow Park, uh, which is in southeastern Wisconsin. It's one of our more beautiful places uh, in the state. I come here a lot when I have to meditate, when my wife was going through some of her medical problems and whatnot. Uh, this was a place that I used to frequent quite often. And uh, there were a lot of prayers that were set in this park and a lot of spiritual growth that took place in my life. And so it has a special place. And uh, believe it or not, uh, for those of you that have been following me for a while, uh, I do have a YouTube hero that uh, really got me interested in starting my channel. He probably doesn't know that, but I've been watching him for a while. I was not a subscriber to him for quite some time. And then uh, I was on, I, I don't know if it was a live chat or, or what it was, but we were all asking questions about gardening. And uh, this guy was one of the few that would often reply to my questions and help me out in, uh, in my endeavors. And uh, without any further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and introduce him to you. This What's is going on, everybody? It's <laughs> Mark, good to see you. Mark Smith, from Ar he's the Arkansas woodcutter, yeah. and he happened to be traveling through the area. And uh, today we're going to go ahead and we're going to discover... Uh, some of these native plants that we have here in Wisconsin and if you haven't ever gone on Mark's channel look it up it's Arkansas Woodcutter I'll put a link or else I'll put the name down here in the bottom of the screen uh, so that you can link over to his channel and you got to watch him this man is like having a living encyclopedia uh, <laughs> by your side and I'm just I feel honored to have him with me today so hey stick around and watch what he's going to show you this place is absolutely amazing we pulled up here and I was like oh we're going to go to a park 
but uh, it's an incredible park. And the history that Carl has been telling me as we're walking along before this video that you're shooting now is is really amazing. Um, that that is really good stuff. This place is beautiful. Check out what he's going to show yeah, you. Go ahead. All right, the section of Wisconsin that we're in right now is uh, we're in southern Wisconsin, and originally. Not a lot of people know this, but almost all of Wisconsin was wooded wetlands. And so we're in Whitnell Park right now. And in this park, we have a lot of meadows and uh, uh, wetlands and wooded uh, areas that are native to uh, this area the way it was before everybody started to clear for agricultural purposes. So we're gonna take a little look today and uh, I'll show Mark some of the features that we have here in our state. 